Hello, hello. It's Wednesday devotion time. And our focus today is Psalm 28. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if I remain silent, I'll be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy. As I call to you for help, as I lift up hands towards your most holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil. Silence can be a powerful weapon. During a conflict, we might use silence as a way of retreat or defence. This may happen in our relationships as well. You know, the silent treatment. Hello, God. Are you listening? This psalm models for us ways to engage with God. Even in the midst of intense suffering, as David faced a trial, he begged God to listen. He begged God to act. To you, Lord, to you I call. You are my rock. Do not, do not turn a deaf ear to me. David was not silent towards God. And asked God not to be silent with him. He is persistent in prayer. Lifting up his hands towards the holy of holies. We can be thankful that we have a God who cares. We have a God who listens. We have a God who hears our prayers and responds. Even in, the, in that moment, it, it may feel that God might be distant. He's not. David saw people speaking peacefully with their neighbours. Their friendly disposition was just a front to hide their evil intentions. These people were doing were busy doing evil and did not care about the Lord. So David asks God to act. David asks God to intervene. If you come down to verse 6, the tone changes here. Praise be to the Lord, for he heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise you. Thank you, God. Yes. It seems that some time had gone by and David is now able to really rejoice in what God has done. The depths of his despair is matched by his overwhelming joy. He closes off this psalm by focusing on the people of Israel. He asks God to save. He asks God to bless and guide. And that is our hope as well. We want that for ourselves. We want that for our communities. We want that for our churches. That God will save. That God will bless. That God will guide. When we experience hardship, it may seem that God's not listening. Keep praying. Keep speaking to God. Be encouraged today. Don't stop. Keep engaging with Him. Speak with God daily, in the good times, in the hard times. When it's difficult, for He hears your prayer. He will listen to our cry. God, listen to my prayer. 
don't turn a deaf ear. Hear my cry for mercy. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in my life. Have your way in whatever situation we are facing, you are facing. For God's ears are not deaf to our cry. Have your way, Lord. Amen. May God bless you.